Tournament preparation. Most of the questions that I get submitted to my website are in regards to tournament preparation. And the question goes something like this. Samson, I've got a tournament this week. What do I do to prepare? And sometimes I'll reply by saying, well, what are you planning to do to prepare? And sometimes it's fairly extravagant in their preparation. They'll say something like, well, I'll break out a my backup racket, which has a little bit faster carbon in it. And so I'll get a little bit more speed and I'll break out these new shoes that are more tournament quality shoes. And I'll eat special foods instead of eating normal beef. I'll eat beef um, grass fed cows. And instead of doing my normal wake up routine, I'll get up an extra hour early and I've got this full 60 minute stretching routine. And I say, OK, OK, that right there, that right there is the reason that you're not doing well in tournaments. They're like, what do you mean? I I've got to do special things to play extra, extra, extra good. See, that's the main problem. You don't want to play extra, extra, extra good. You want to play normal. Normal. This is what you're trying to achieve in tournaments is that you play your normal level. See, in practice, we want to get our level up to this level, and then we want to play as close to our best as we can in tournaments. A lot of people, their practice level is 1800, and then they feel like I want to get to that tournament and I want to play at 2100 level. But the reality is going in there trying to play at 2100 level makes them play at 1500 level. <laughs> so you see, your goal in tournaments is to play good, is to eliminate errors, is to be as consistent as possible, but to play normal. In order to play normal, you have to think normal. So when you're eating different foods, you're changing your routine for sleep, for stretching, for everything. You're wearing different clothes. You're using different equipment. You have a different mindset because now it's a tournament and you gotta win, you gotta win. That's what's hurting you. That's why you can't win in tournaments is because you wanna win. See, the best tournaments are when you just let it happen. You just play as you practiced. And as you play, as you practice, your mind can be more relaxed. You just let it go. And that's when you have your best tournaments, when you want to win so badly that you change your whole routine. And now every point is not, hey, I'm just going to play as I practice. Now every point is, I got to hit it harder and faster and wider and spinnier. And then you complain to me at the end of the tournament that you didn't play well. It's because your mindset was different. If you were going to play that style, if you were going to take all those same decisions that you made in that tournament like that, you should have been practicing for that. The best tournaments come when your practice matches your tournament and your tournament matches your practice. So this is going to sound like the dumbest advice ever, but here it comes. Are you ready for this? Do nothing. Do nothing, relax, and play as you practiced. Yes, it's important to get to the tournament early and get a good warm up. Yes, it is important to practice, serve, serve, return. Yes, it's important to play as much as possible in that venue to, uh, to just really acclimate to those playing conditions. Yes, it's important to be serious. Yes, it's important to want to win, that's good. But this over desire that I'm gonna go to that tournament and play 300 points better than my level actually makes you play 100 points worse than your level. So your goal going into this tournament is to relax and play normal as you practiced. I'm Samson Dabina. Thanks for watching. If you watch this video on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you turn on the bell for more notifications. I'm here in Akron, Ohio at the Samson Dabina Table Tennis Academy. If you'd like to come here for training, just send me, send me a message. I'd love to have you here. See you soon.